Good morning, Trans Youth. Oh, sorry. I uh, haven't been to bed yet. This topic, good stuff, when to come out in your transition. And I think my experience uh, is going to be a lot different from a trans woman's experience. Predominantly because I think society has an easier time um, sort of accepting females, uh, adopting male roles. I'm saying uh a lot. Sorry. I'm a little tired. And it's also a lot easier generally for uh, trans men to pass before taking hormones. I didn't come out in high school at all. I had no confidence as a, as a person in high school. I was well liked, I had friends, and they were great friends. After high school was over, I took a year off because I wanted to transition in that year, essentially, and then go to university as a man with a big beard and a flat chest and oh man completely unrealistic no dice but I took that year off and that's when I started coming out to people so in that year I came out to my family first I came out to my doctor first uh, got referred to CAMH in Toronto uh, had a referral assessment type thing and then the psychologist there told me it's better if you tell your parents and get them involved if you think they're going to be supportive. So I put it off for like a long time. I think like three months or something. August, September, October, November. Yeah, like three and a half months or something. Um, took my parents out to dinner and told them. And I have a video about it on my channel. It was really stupid the way I told them, but... Um, my mom was pretty accepting. She had a bit of a hard time because I kind of clamped up after I came out to them and uh, stopped talking to her and she got really upset about that. Uh, ooh, human beings in the vicinity don't like it. Uh, so she got really upset about that, but that kind of resolved itself as, uh, as I started following through with the process and things started to fall into place. I got happier and it was easier to talk to her and so she got more supportive. Um, and my dad had trouble but he came around too. My sister didn't have much trouble about it which is nice. Very supportive, very lucky. And then I also started coming out to for my close friend group. Uh, from elementary school all the way through high school. Been friends with these people for a long time and uh, they are good people. Oh, it's windy. Gonna cut me off, eh, wind? Yeah. Uh, yes, great friends. And then in that year, I was working in a factory and there was a little thing where I went off to Alberta for a month and got really weirded out, so I came back back to the factory and in that setting I was working on uh, this line I don't know I was just you know being quiet and shy and doing my job and being nice and polite and you know, I started making friends with my coworkers, and then I started making friends with my supervisor and she was really nice to me I don't know we'd like talk about stuff every once in a while and then I was away from the line. We were just doing some cleaning because things were down. And everyone stopped and I was still going because I get a bit, I like to clean. Uh, when I'm in the mood, I just go for it. It's amazing. Uh, so I'm like wiping down all the stuff and the supervisor comes over and it's just me and her and we're kind of away from everyone else. And she uh, called me out on it, essentially. She asked me, like, 
there was anything I needed to tell her about like anything and the way I can't remember how she said it but the way she said it I knew exactly what she was talking about and so it turns out uh, some of the people I worked with had been discussing me behind my back which I don't really care about um, but debating you know whether I was actually a guy or if I was a chick you know yeah because it's important right uh, so they had brought it up to her and she asked me and I came out to her and said yes I, I feel like a man inside and I'm working on starting the process to transition and she was completely supportive and just really happy for me and she said if you are a man inside then you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to like force it you know you should just be able to be you and whatever you do it'll be masculine it'll be male if you're a male inside so very wise and I'm really glad she told me that and I think it applies to every trans person transgender transsexual uh, however you feel you shouldn't you shouldn't try and force or you shouldn't try and adopt behaviors just because that is feminine behavior um, like stereotypical or stereotypical male behavior you should be yourself and just do what's comfortable because you know I'm not being very articulate I apologize jeez and then university I went in without anything being changed uh, I had a girlfriend so that kind of helped my credibility as a man uh, and I came in presenting as male um, looking like a 15 year old boy in university but what can you do and uh, I didn't have my name changed so sometimes there were issues with teachers calling out my old name then it was really embarrassing to me but you know not many other people really noticed it and the people who did notice it you know weren't like super weirded out by it or anything they're just like oh that's weird I thought his name was Kip why first year and second year I was pretty stealth I came out to a few people here and there to sort of have uh, support from them and I feel like that was nice like getting to know people and gauging how they would react and there were a couple instances of people who had known me from high school and were friends with people in my program. I'm going to have to agree with the girls and say that if you're not being read as female at work yet, I think it would be better to, uh, to come out and explain to them that you're going to be changing, transitioning, um, and be an advocate. And I've been watching a lot of videos and uh, watching videos where trans people are saying they're a bit tired of having to educate everyone around them. But I think that's a responsibility we have because this movement is still relatively new and because it's just starting to become public and media representations of transsexuality and transgenderism uh, are still quite young and they're still presenting images that don't necessarily reflect the entire community and sometimes make assumptions and stereotype a bit uh, so I think we do have a responsibility to educate the people around us uh, and help them to educate themselves. So, uh, yeah, I think coming out before you start uh, hormones, all that stuff. Um, and that would be nice too to get them 
to start getting used to your new name and new pronouns and I think as you start to transition and things start to change that'll become easier for them and like having that visual confirmation of the pronouns you want I think that helps a lot maybe talking to your boss first before you come out to everyone else because I think I've heard that some people found it better to come out to like management and have management management and have management make an announcement on their behalf sort of explain the situation um, and you give them all the information so like places that co-workers can do research um, questions that are appropriate to ask you if they want to know more about it uh, stuff like that just being proactive about how you come out because for me I don't really get too offended when people ask certain questions like if someone asks me about downstairs you know if I have surgery if I'm going to get surgery what I've got down there what's going on like all that stuff I'm very laid back I don't get offended I explain it to them because how else are they going to know right but I know some people don't appreciate it at all uh, so I think it's important for you to set those boundaries for yourself so your co-workers know. I hope that helps. Hopefully everything is chill. Hopefully the people you work with are sweet. If they are sweet, tell them I think they're sweet and I'm very proud of them. If they're not sweet, tell them Kipling is very disappointed. Shakes his head. Puffs out his cheeks a little bit too. Alright, see you guys next week.